Okay, in this video we're going to talk about ARDS, Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, and it's going to be represented by this dragon over here who's saying ARDS. I don't know, do dragons say that? I'm not sure, but the ARDS is going to remind us of ARDS, Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. Okay, so let's talk about the pathophysiology of ARDS, the symptoms, and we'll talk a little bit about management at the end. So, in terms of pathophysiology, so there's an alveolar insult, and this could be to someone inhaling a toxin, and this results in release of pro-inflammatory cytokines from the alveolar mac macrophages, specifically IL-8. IL-8 is a chemotactic for neutrophils, so the neutrophils come along. I always think about nachos when I think of neutrophils. So here are the nachos over here. These are the nachos. The neutrophils come along, and they release toxic mediators, PAF, leukotrienes, proteases, things that neutrophils like to secrete. And this leads to capillary endothelial damage in the lungs and increased vessel permeability. And of course, there's going to be leakage of protein-rich fluid into the alveoli because it's pierced. And this leads to the formation of intra-alveolar hyaline membranes, as well as non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema because of all the fluid. And just as a side point, loss of surfactant also contributes to alveolar collapse. Okay, what are the causes of acute respiratory distress syndrome? So let's take a look at this dragon again. We noticed on his back a couple of things. Here we note the scepter to remind us of sepsis. This is the most common. We also note the fluid over here, a fluid that can build up. Aspiration is when you inhale something into your lungs. It could be water, but could it be something else? But hopefully the water bottle will be enough of a reminder of, what, of the aspiration. The gnome for pneumonia. The knife over here for trauma. And this pancreas over here that's on fire to remind us of the pancreatitis. Those are all causes of acute respiratory distress syndrome. Okay, how is diagnosis made? Let's back out over here. So on this island over here, randomly, there are these four letters over here, ARDS, conveniently for acute respiratory distress syndrome. And this is going to remind us of how diagnosis is made. A is going to be for abnormal chest x-ray. So you take a look over here in this A, there's an abnormal chest x-ray with lots of white opacities, bilateral lung opacities, and this is due to the widespread infiltrates. Normally it's supposed to be black because of air, but you don't have that here. It's also known as white lungs. Then for R over here, R is going to remind us of, we see a grave over here to remind us of a respiratory failure. And this happens within one week of the alveolar insult. That's another sign of acute respiratory distress syndrome. D is going down because D has decreased. The oxygen has decreased. Decreased PaO2 over FiO2. The ratio is less than 300. And this is a sign of hypoxemia. And this is due to the increased intrapulmonary shunting and diffusion abnormalities. And finally, we have this S over here with the X on it and the package. This is a reminder of S for symptoms of respiratory failure that are not due to HF fluid overload. So the consequences of acute respiratory distress syndrome are impaired gas exchange, of course, and there's going to be decreased lung compliance because of the formation of the intraalveolar hyaline membranes. And this, of course, will lead to pulmonary hypertension. As a final point, management of acute respiratory distress syndrome includes treating the underlying cause as well as mechanical ventilation in order to decrease the tidal volume and increase the PEP. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe one day we'll improve on it. Take care.